Our next story is about India's hypersonic missile program. It is set to outpace global capabilities, that too, within the next five years. Here's why I say that. Reports indicate that the Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO of India, is advancing missile technology with the initiative to develop hypersonic missiles under a programme named Vishnu. And as a part of this, the DRDO aims to create two long-range hypersonic missile systems. Among the most excitedly awaited results is the development of the hypersonic cruise missile or HCM. Once developed, it will transform India's strike capabilities and provide a powerful deterrent. The hypersonic cruise missile, HCM, will reportedly have a range of 1,000 kilometers. That's not all. DRDO aims for it to enter production by the late 2020s. Now, unlike traditional cruise missiles, hypersonic weapons travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, making them nearly impossible to intercept. And as per recent developments, DRDO is working to outpace Russia's 3M22 Zircon. That's a nuclear-capable hypersonic cruise missile by targeting a speed beyond Mach 9 for the Indian HCM. The DRDO's goal is to develop a missile capable of achieving double-digit Mach speeds, making it extremely difficult to detect, let alone intercept, with current anti-missile defense systems. Safe to say these advancements will mark a giant leap forward for India when it comes to missile technology. It has the potential of putting India among the few global players that have operational hypersonic capabilities. In fact, reports say that the HCM will be available in both land-based and ship-based variants. In the future, DRDO may also reportedly explore development of a nuclear attack submarine launch variant. But that could happen as late as 2030s. Now, it looks like the HCM will be a winged hypersonic cruise missile. As far as specifications of the missile go, it is being reported that the HCM will have a booster stage with solid fuel engines. It will accelerate it to supersonic speeds. Then a scramjet motor with liquid fuel will propel the missile during its hypersonic cruise phase. The plasma cloud formed by the air pressure in front of the missile as it moves will absorb the radio waves, making it difficult to detect by radar systems. We call it the plasma stealth. The head of the DRDO recently stated that the organization plans to achieve significant development milestones in the HCM program over the next five years. It shows the DRDO is committed to quickly enhancing India's hypersonic missile capabilities in order to address future defense challenges. Now, in contemporary warfare, hypersonic missiles are increasingly being viewed as essential weapons. It's because of their velocity, precision, and the ability to penetrate enemy defenses. The US, China, and Russia have invested heavily in hypersonic technology, making it a crucial area for strategic dominance. As far as India is concerned, the development of an indigenous hypersonic missile under Project Vishnu would mark a significant advancement towards enhancing deterrence capabilities. Once deployed, the HCM will not only augment India's missile capabilities, it will also offer a technological advantage for India. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.